Well, this begins a topic that for many students is a little more difficult than some. So my warning to you, my warning is, you better study this really hard because for many students, as I said, it's more difficult than some. And as we go into it, you'll see why it's slightly more difficult. What this involves is reconstitution of medications. Now let's, before I get to medication, just do something kind of on a simple uh, everyday basis. Let's say you want to get some uh, electrolyte drink. I will not mention any uh, brand names because I'm not authorized to do so. But one of these um, sports drinks, electrolyte drinks, well, a lot of those come in a jar. You take the cap off, you drink it. It's already made up, it's already ready. But, look at this one, is that right side up? Yes. This comes as a powder. And it says, well, you read the directions. It says, uh, if I can get it right side up, it says, instructions, pour a packet into 16.9 fluid ounces of water, uh, then replace cap, shake, duh, 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 duh. okay. But it has, a, it's a powder and you put the stuff in the water yourself. You don't make it up until you're ready to drink it. Many medicines are the same way. Medicines both for oral use and for injections. Now, lots of oral medications, many liquids, liquid oral medications, and of course, all things for injections are liquids. Uh, many of them come already ready. You just you'll stick the syringe in the bottle, pull the stuff out, or pour stuff out, give that to the patient. But lots of medicines for oral use and for injections. They come as a powder, or maybe some granules. And they have directions that say, okay, you mix so you know a certain amount of water or some kind of liquid with this, you mix it up yourself before you give it. Now, here's the deal. The water or the stuff you put into it is called, this word, it's called a diluent. Now, I don't care who you hear say this. If you hear somebody say diluent, the person's wrong. It's diluent. It's going to be some kind of water. It'll tell on the package what kind of water. It may say bacterial, static water, or whatever. That doesn't matter. Now, for, for, back up. for the real world, yes, you got to put the right kind of stuff in there. For doing the math, for this course, it doesn't matter. But you put some kind of diluent. But you read the label of the package, of the medicine. It may say, you know, put in two milliliters of a diluent. Put in what it tells you. So what you do is, you have this little bottle with the powder in it. It has instructions for how much diluent you add to it. And you shake it up, and then you give the stuff. Yeah, whether it's for oral use <laughs> or whether it's for an injection, they come this way many times. The reason for that is, for those medications that that way, they come that way because once they're mixed up into a liquid form, they go bad really fast. It'll also, on the label of the drug, tell you how long it lasts. Some last only 24 hours and they're no good anymore. Some a few days, maybe a, a week or so. But medications that go bad that fast, you could not make it up in the factory, ship it to the pharmacy, to the hospital, whatever. It'd go bad before it ever got there. So you have to mix it up on site, give it to the patient, and then after that day-long thing, two-day-long, week-long, whatever, expiration date, you throw it away. You mix it up right then and use it. That's what reconstitution is. The hard thing about this is this. See, if you get one of these things, and you use this often, you read it one time, okay, I put this in a little bottle. It's the same way every time. You do it the same way. It doesn't vary. But these medicines are all different. Some of them are written very simple, very straightforward. They tell you real simply how to do this. It's easy to read. Some, they have the most idiotic instructions. I mean, they were written, I don't know, by a Aggie or a chimpanzee or something. I don't know who did this but they're ridiculous and they're hard to read. That makes this hard. But somehow or other, here's the bottom line. Well, one line at least. On the label of the medication, well, the next several videos down there will show you examples of these. And you, of course, have homework over this, but on the drug label, the medication label, it will tell you, number one, how much diluent you have to add to the bottle. It'll tell you what kind of diluent whether it's just plain old water, tap water, bacterial static water, normal saline, it'll tell you the name of the kind of liquid, the diluent to add to it. But then it will tell you somehow, some way, 
the dosage strength. Something like, or now once you mix it up, there's 250 milligrams per milliliter, whatever that is. It differs from medication to medication, of course. So that's the main thing. It will tell you how much of the diluent you're going to add. It'll tell you what kind of diluent to add. It will then tell you how strong the medication is after it's mixed up. Then the rest of that, that's the easy part. By now, you better know how to do dosage calculations. That should be the easy part at this point. Once you're given your order from the licensed prescriber, you just do a plain old dosage calculation problem to figure out how much of that now to give your patient. But the hardest thing is having to read the label. And again, once we get into seeing examples, you'll say, ooh, he's right. Some of these are really goofy and hard to read. But that's the thing. They'll all tell you how much deal you want and how strong the stuff is after you mix it up, after you reconstitute it. So I'm going to have lots and lots of videos showing specific drug labels. And we'll go through here step by step and show you all the different weird varieties of drug labels you might encounter. The thing is, for this course, the book you're using doesn't have lots and lots of examples. In my opinion, not nearly enough. And I scrounged up some other drug labels. Number one, because I want a whole wide variety of weird things to show you. But also, I don't want to show you the ones that do examples of the ones you'll do for homework. That's for homework. So your homework examples, um, work on those for homework. But let's look at some of these drug labels. So I'm going to shut up now and go drink some... Uh, uh, stuff here to <clears throat> get me hydrated and get some electrolytes in my system and then I'm going to show you a bunch of these drug labels and let's learn how to reconstitute these medications.